Hello, hello, hello. Today I will discuss with you the solution to the dome problem. Person sliding down the dome. Let's revisit the problem first. Here's a dome, a large dome, completely frictionless, radius r. A person with mass m is sitting at the top. She gives herself a slight push and she starts to go down faster and faster and faster and faster and there comes a point that she loses contact with the dome and so she falls to the ground. And I ask you what is the angle alpha where that, when that happens? I helped you when I recorded the problem. I told you that quite here gravitational force is mg down the normal force from the dome onto the object is mg up. As the object goes faster and faster, that normal force, the force that the dome exerts on the person, becomes smaller and smaller and smaller and finally becomes zero. That's the moment that the person let go. Yeah, well, the person loses contact with the dome. So, let's work this out. So here you see the dome. When the person is here, the normal force is the same as mg down. Let's now assume that the person has been sliding down up to this point here, where I have my finger, at angle beta. Then the gravitational force down is of course still mg, and I can decompose that force into two directions. One tangentially, this one is mg sine beta, and the other one perpendicular to the dome, which is mg cosine beta. The force can only exert a force on the object radially outwards because the surface is frictionless. So this N now is the normal force outwards. And now comes the problem, key problem, why is this N smaller than this mg cosine beta? The reason is that since this object now has speed, and it is going in a circle. So the net force in the radial direction, the net force inwards, must be mv squared divided by r, the centripetal force. And that is only possible if this n, as the speed increases, gets smaller and smaller and smaller. So now we go to the angle alpha. So the force on the object, on the person, is still mg down. That doesn't change. And this component, which is the one, the tangential component, that is the one that accelerates it along the curve, this one is mg sine alpha. And this one is mg cosine alpha. But now the speed is so large, that this force alone is needed for the centripetal force. Therefore, n goes to zero. So, when the speed is v, the centripetal force is mv squared divided by r at this point. So when mv squared divided by r, which is the centripetal force on this object, is mg cosine alpha, which is this little force, then n equals zero. Then n equals zero. So we have to deal a little bit with v squared. That's, of course, very simple Newtonian mechanics. If the vertical distance from here to there is h, then it follows immediately from the conservation of mechanical energy that NGH, which is the potential energy that 
becomes available when you go from here to there, must be one half mv squared. And so it's independent of m, so you get v squared equals 2gh. So now, we go back to this equation. Again, it's independent of m. So I substitute in here 2gh. Then I get 2gh divided by capital R is g cosine alpha. That is when the person loses contact with the dome. If this is h, then this here is r minus h. But r minus h divided by r is the cosine of that angle alpha. Isn't that nice? r minus h divided by r is the cosine of alpha. So h over r is 1 minus the cosine of alpha. I go back to this equation. So h over r is 1 minus cosine alpha. I put that in here. Your g goes away and you find immediately that the cosine of alpha is two-thirds and the angle alpha therefore is a little larger than 48 degrees. It's independent of the radius r and it's independent of the mass of the person. It's a classic problem. Cosine alpha is two-thirds. Okay? I have no idea how many of you did it right because I am recording this several weeks before I even post the problem and before I post the solution. My guess is that, oh, I hope that more than 50% got it right. Anyone who had some physics courses in high school should be able to do this. Piece of cake. All right, take care. Of course, we will be friends. Have a nice day.